Oh, oh. Come on, Mr. Blue Guy. You gotta wake up. Wake up. It hurts. Just let me die. You can't die. I'm bored. All these girls want to talk about is chick stuff. And not the fun chick stuff like ribbons and unicorns. I don't have treads. But I often find them staring at things that they really shouldn't be. You see? Boring stuff, like oppression and a hostile work environment. Get Doc. I need Doc. I can't. He got possessed by the evil guy and they escaped. He is the one that shot you. Don't you remember? I know. I want him to shoot me again. Now, now, now. Sounds like someone's got a case of the poor me's. If you were going to die, you would have done it by now. Maybe you just need to realize you're going to have to live with intense pain. Get that Sarge guy. Have him make me a new body. Ugh, we can't. We're out of parts because we overused that joke. And Sarge left with the others to chase Doc. But don't you worry. They left a long time ago, so I'm sure they'll be back any minute. Simmons had a foolproof plan to catch him. Hello? Hello? Is anybody here? Just great. I guess we all got separated in the teleporter. Sarge, this is Simmons 2.0. Do you read me? Apparently, your plan to chase Lopez and Doc has failed miserably. I appear to be stuck in some kind of nexus of teleporters, which can take me anywhere in the universe. Or it's a janitor's closet. The hell, I don't fucking know. Sarge, are you there? Sarge! Hello? Anyone? Do you read me? Do I read you? Anyone? Anybody? Nobody? Okay. Well, I don't think the others are coming. We must have gotten separated somehow. My toes are getting pruney. Okay. Why don't we try to find O'Malley? I know where you can find O'Malley. He lived inside my helmet for a while. Maybe he left an address to send his mail. We were like roommates. Sounds like he took some of the furniture when he left. And the carpet. And the drapes. And I wouldn't expect to get that deposit back, if you know what I mean. Sergeant! Look! A sleeping person! What? Holy macaroon! He's not sleeping, son. He's dead. Oh, good. At first, I thought that was me. Because I am blue, and I like to sleep. But if he is dead, that cannot be me. That would be silly. No doubt he was killed by our very enemy. Once again, I find myself torn. On the one hand, there's one less blue in the universe. But now Doc's got a bigger body count than me. And that just won't do. No, sir. Rest in peace. Scumbag. Look. More sleeping people. It must be nap time. But who has nap time now? Nap time comes before pants time, not after. I think these people are just making up times. What the Samuel Hell Sinky happened here? It must have been an enormous battle. Hello? Is anyone okay? Are there any survivors? Preferably any red survivors. Don't let that discourage you from speaking up if you're blue. I won't step on your neck or anything like that. Am I allowed to answer? Shh, quiet. You hear that? Yes, that noise is called water. It is very wet and very sloshy. I was talking about the trumpet, blue tard. I have to go to the bathroom now for some reason. Which is odd, because I already went when we were standing in the creek together. Wait a minute, I know that song, that's Reveille. But why would someone be playing Reveille in the middle ah! of the... Ah! Yeah! Oh! Sweet giblet giblet! Running time! and jump! What just happened here? I think all oh, the sleepy people were trying to get... That was rhetorical! Get over here! Give me a boost! Okay. You are a good person, and people say nice things about you. Not a morale boost, moron! A physical one! I need to see what's in that window! That window is very high. I don't think you are tall enough. I know. I need you to help me look through it. I don't think I am tall enough either. Also, 
My head is round. That window is square. Come here, you. Whoa! What do you see? I see... a room. And? What's in the room? There are some walls and some ceilings. Wait, just one ceiling. What's making all that racket? Kill the red! 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 You are not going to like it. Caboose, I have a very bad feeling about... What's that? I am scared of our new friends. Oh, Sonny Bono, what's going on here? Stop fighting! Stop fighting! Everyone, stop fighting! What is looking like to me? Everyone! Everyone! Look unto me! I possess the blue flag! It's more beautiful than I ever imagined! I have seen the top of the mountain! And you will worship me as though I were a god! I regret nothing! I lived as few men dare to dream! Now, first question. 
Where are you hiding the plants? <clears throat> right. Where are you hiding the... Right. Need to get that. One second. Hello? Yes, this is he speaking. Oh, hello. Yes, right. Oh, bugger. Spell that with a T or an F, do you? Thought you said something else. No, I'll get right on it. I'm getting bored. Right. Usual fee. She won't be a problem. No, I'll nip that one for you straight away. Right, say hello to mom for me. Cheerio. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Looks like it's your lucky day, mate. Oh, thank God. Don't have time to torture you, so I'm just going to have to kill you. I- Oh, man, this sucks! Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Get the flag, get the flag, get the flag! Get the fucking flag! We must protect this house! 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 This is our house! Um, guys, look. Where's our flag? <gasps> no. The flag is gone? What will we do? If the flag is gone, who will lead us? Who will inspire us with their shiny pole? Who will flap directions to us in battle? We are lost! And the world as we knew it is gone forever from our eyes, only to live in our memories as the days of salad and glory. Truly, these are the end of times. Repent! Repent! This sucks. I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess it's back to basics now. 
Get ready for destruction, Blues. We're gonna kick your ass. We have become death, destroyer of where- Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta take out the trash. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, my metallic friend, your modifications are complete, and my plan is coming to fruition. Fruition? Fruition. Oh, shut up. Si, sí, maestro. Su plan A es muy excelente. Now to bring together my enemies. Oh, dude, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, dude, it's Vic. No solo mio, not in the casa right now. So leave a message and I'll call you back. Just leave your what's up at the yo. Yo. <laughs> oh, hey, Dr. Baron Von Evil Satan. What's up, dude? Don't be my call. Dude, you don't come up on caller ID. I'm not just going to answer anything. Caller ID? I'm in hiding, you buffoon. I'm trying to take over the universe. Yeah. <laughs> We're also on the do not call list. Oh, shut up. So how's that plot going, dude? Magnificent. <laughs> I've called my bounty hunter in. He'll take care of your little red and blue problem post haste. Oh, cool. Thanks for turning that around so quick, dude. I know you're swamped. Then the universe will be mine, and I'll cost every living soul in the dark. <laughs> Except for you, of course, Vic. I'll make you a system crusher. Okay, dude. Looking forward to that. And that brought you back here. So, theoretically, what if these teleporters should transport us back to Blood Gulch or anywhere else that we want to go? Do you understand? Yes. What does thermoretically mean? I probably could have saved a lot of time by telling you these things work by magic. I thought you told the story well. I liked all the parts with me in them. Any idea which ones go where? Yeah, and, um, not really. I found you two guys by accident, and I don't want to start using teleporters at random. We should definitely take the green one. Okay, be quiet now. We've got to find a way to contact them. Come in, Sergeant Dude. Hello, Sergeant Dude, are you there? Vic. Got some big news for you, dude. Bad news, Tucker. I just picked up a feed. You've been tagged. Tagged? That sounds bad. Unless it means something sexual. Does it mean something sexual? It means something bad. Oh, yeah, like that's a surprise. Someone's hired a freelancer to take you out. Do you have any idea why? I can't say. Keeping secrets? I find that attractive. You do? In attractive people, yeah. Do you know who's after him? A guy I know from training. Name's Wyoming. <laughs> Finally a name dumber than Donuts. Hey! Yeah, okay. Everybody in the division was paired with an AI and codenamed for a state. What was your code name, Tex? Nevada. One for each state? So there's 50 of you. 49. Remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Man, poor Florida. <sighs> okay, anyway. Well, I'll make you a deal. I still owe you one. So if I take care of Wyoming, we're square. Deal? You realize that you want to protect me from a guy who's trying to kill me. What am I going to say? No? I'll take that as a yes. Eureka's hammer! I got it! I put a listening device in one of the suits of armor I built. We can use that to find out where they are. But which one, Sarge? Isn't one a huge bomb? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't turn that on. Or maybe I should. That way we can follow the enormous explosion and huge flames of smoke directly to them. It'd be just like a homing device, but Indian style. I assume what you mean, sir, is directly to the crater that they left. Though crudely delivered, I see your point. Let's go with the listening device. Great idea, sir. Yes, it was. Can I push the button to make it go, please? Okay, Caboose, but just this once. Yay! Thank <laughs> What a little rascal. I pushed the button. Stay away from him. He's mine. Man, I hate this. This sucks. That's church. I just want to lay around and do nothing. I think it's Griff. Right after I take this nice, warm bubble bath. Go ahead. ahead. Let me see if I can lock onto that signal, Sarge. Okay, got it. Go ahead. Come in, Donut. Come in. Donut, do you read me? Come in. Sarge, you gotta help me. You left me with one blue, but now there are three. Vic was right. There was a trap all along. Listen, Donut. Vic told me all about the blue cup. That fella Tucker is gonna make up things, crazy things about red and blue. You can't listen to him, you just...
just can't. Sarge, what should I do? Don't let him catch on that you know. Just act like you normally do. Wait, not like you. Act like someone more brave. Smarter. More masculine, for God's sake. Okie dokie, Sarge. He's a dead man, Simmons. It's okay, sir. I thought that you two were getting too close anyway, and that's not good for the chain of command. Try to open a teleporter to them. I'll see if I can locate the other armor. Yeah, more button pushing. Caboose, don't touch that. This is the button to find church. Uh-oh. That's not gonna be good. Did he just do what I think he did? Church is going to be so happy with me. Nice. I bet I can beat it. <laughs> Wonder what caused that. Hey, Church, do you know your stomach is ticking? Guys, I'm red too! I'm a red! I don't even know this guy! Come on! Let me out! Thanks for the support, Griff. Way to be a team player. Hey, I gotta think about myself here. There's no I in team, Griff. Yeah, there's no you either. So I guess if I'm not on the team and you're not on the team, nobody's on the goddamn team! The team sucks! What I can't figure out is why the reds are still here. Tech's already wiped out all the blues. Why wouldn't they just pull out? As someone who's taken orders from Red Command for the last three years, trust me, it's not that surprising. Okay, we traced the bomb activation signal to Sidewinder. How much time do we have left, Sarge? Everyone here is set to transport. I'm not going through that thing. I'm serious. We need to get there as soon as possible. Did you set their teleporter to take them straight to Sidewinder? I walked Donut through it. He says he did everything right, but I figure they have a 50-50 chance of ending up in Sidewinder or in the middle of deep space. What about us? I programmed ours myself. We're fine. I find the risks acceptable. I never knew a Phillips screwdriver was the X1. Do you think it's named after a guy named Philip? That guy Philip must have a fucked up shaped head. Yeah, screw this. I'm walking. Alright, then saddle up. Don't worry, Griffin Church. Here comes the cavalry. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Uh, sir, the teleporter I reprogrammed is over there. Oh, well. Heads up, evildoers! Here we come to save the- Ah, oh, forget it, let's just go. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows but Jesus. Will you shut up? You just can't face the fact that I've adjusted life on the inside. I'm hard now. Please, give me a break. As a prison bitch, I would not expect you to understand. We're not right for us. Right now. What's going on out there? Oh man, maybe our crew's come to bust us out of the joint. I don't know if I can live on the outside anymore though, Church. I'm all institutionalized and shit. I don't know. Sounds like whoever's fighting them is winning. It can't possibly be our guys. Hey, screw! Aren't you gonna go help your buddies? Oink oink! Gotcha. So what's the plan, Sarge? First, we need to locate Church and get that bomb 
I'm confused. Then we can find Lopez, download our plans, and get back to fighting the Blues. And find Griff. What? And we also need to find Griff. Right, sir? Well, not every plan is perfect, so I suppose we could accidentally find Griff along the way. Okay, Griff. I've been putting something off that I can do to help us escape, but I gotta warn you, it might scare you a little bit. You want scary? You should try showering in cell block C. Those guys are animals. All right, here it goes. You opened the doors? That wasn't scary at all. What? The? I didn't do that. Somebody on the outside must have done it. All right, let's go. Freedom! It smells so sweet! Let's go rob a liquor store on the way home. There. You are all clean. Thanks. But you didn't need to spend so much time on the codpiece, Donut. A three-coat waxing is just my way of saying I care. Well, there we are, mate. Hello, Wyoming. Why don't you stop pointing that gun at my friend? Allison, good to see you. How's our dear friend Omega? You tell me. He hired you, didn't he? Now, how did you know that? When someone lives in your head for a few years, you get to know him. Where is he? Oh, he'll be along shortly. Very shortly. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Only now do you realize the folly of your ideal chit-chat. Evil wind! <laughs> Good sucks, Nick. I'm really sorry about this, sir. I mean, ma'am. I mean, miss. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you fools have fallen right into my hands. Only now do you realize the folly. Your follies. <laughs> Prepare for an oblivion, for which there is no preparation. <laughs> O'Malley, the Reds and Blues are working together now. You can't hope to beat us. You fool! My metallic friend is the only ally I need. Lopez, activate weather control routines. Okay. Are those runic symbols the sign of some ancient technology? No, I used to draw them on my binder during study hall. I always wanted to use them for something. Aren't they cool? Shut up! Oh, Samson's back here! They found our secret weapon! I developed a weather control device, but I was missing one critical piece of technology to make it work! <laughs> yes! And now that I've located those D batteries, the universe will be mine! <laughs> Find D batteries. Only at gas stations, and they're just so darn expensive there. What's going on? You want the long version or the short? Basically, you've got a 50 megaton bomb in your gut. Ten, sir. And Lopez is about to kill us all. That didn't make any sense. What's the long version? That was the long version. The short version is we're boned. Hey, Griff, are you okay? I've done hard times, Simmons. I'm not the man you used to know. Hard time? We were only separated for five hours. Time moves slower on the inside, Simmons. It seemed like seven or eight hours to me. You foolish fools will never defeat me! You're far too busy being foolish! Ha! Oblivion is at hand! Sarge, I have an idea, but I need you to distract him. Will do! Griff, I've never believed in you. Not even for a moment. But now is your chance to prove yourself. To me! What can I do, Sarge? I need you to run right at O'Malley. And shank him with my shin? No. When he blows you up with the rocket, try to see if you can get your dismembered limbs and guts to clog the barrels of his rocket launcher. You're kidding. It's a remote chance, I know. But it's worth a shot. Ah! Oblivion is at hand! <laughs> Cover your ears, guys! This thing is really loud. This is it! Not so fast, O'Malley. Maybe we can't stop you, but I know who can.
had to get just one last ass kiss in before we died, didn't you? Hop, 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 hop. No, that, that's disgusting. What are you doing? Let me try, let me try. <laughs> Take that, dude. I'm being violated. Church, there's only one thing I can do. Hey, what the hell? There's only 20 seconds left. If I blow you up before the bomb goes off, there's at least a small chance the rest of us will live. But the rocket will kill me. Ten seconds. You're going to die anyway when the bomb goes off. I'm going to tell you, pal. Misery loves company. Five seconds. Sorry, church. Man, this blows. You guys suck. What the hell? Sorry, private talker, but I always get my mind. Say goodbye, mate. Uh, guys, I hate to interrupt, but zero seconds. Uh-oh. What? Oh, son of a... The bomb must have gone off. Where are we? Are we dead? I don't want to be dead. I want to be alive. Or a cowboy. Dead? Oh, man. Tomorrow was all you could eat day at Chow Hall. And I was eat all that I could. We're not dead, idiots. We're stuck in some kind of temporal. Oh, no. Heads up, boys. Prepare for impact. No. What happened? Hey, he's awake! I still want to know why I don't get a laser gun. Shut up, dumbass. Guys, Tucker's awake! Huh? Hey, 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 take it easy, Tucker. You've been out a while. And I thought I was lazy. What's going on? Who are you people? She has amnesia! Tucker, don't worry. You are safe. We're the Reds! We are your mortal enemies! Wait, that didn't sound right. Tucker! Tucker! I am so glad you are alive. Boos? Still so dumb, but you look so different. We're in the future. Things are very shiny here. The future? Oh, I can't fucking wait to hear this one. Obviously, Lopez's weather matrix combined with the power of Bomb 21 to create an explosion so large it caused a temporal rift in time that cascaded throughout the board. Whoa, wait a second, wait a second. I don't understand. Sarge. Can we do the skit now? Yeah! Yes! I don't want to do that dumb skit. Fine, but only because I want to see Griff be miserable. I miss the old days. Great! Places, everyone! <clears throat> the Red vs. Blue players present a Franklin Donut play, written and directed by Franklin Donut, in association with Light Red Danish Production. Can we just start? And action! Hello, weary traveler. We represent the timeline. I am the past, where things cost less, and people knew the value of a hard day's work. But they only lived to be 28 years old. And I am the future, where people have no morals and no emotions, but we have a bunch of kick-ass gadgets. And I'm the present, which sucks. We have nothing cool and also no morals. And I am the helpful narrator, a faceless voice used by poor writers. You have a face, I think. Shut up, audience. You're ruining my play. Everything was fine with the timeline until one day in the present. Why does bad stuff always happen in the present? Because that's when people do stuff. Ah, quit your bitching. I have atrocities and a crap load of wars that seemed very important at the time, but now seem trivial and stupid. Yeah, and I've got apocalypse. That's way worse than anything you two dipshits have. Sorry, sir. That dipshit was in character. Oh. Well, bravo, Simmons. One day in the present. A terrible thing happened. Enter stage left. Hello, I am stupid Private Tucker. I am going to set off a big bomb now and totally mess things up for everyone because I am stupid. Turns around. Hello, present. I am going to set off a bomb in you. Don't do that, stupid Private Tucker. That might kill me. Thinks about this for a moment. Kapo, stop reading your stage direction. You told me I was supposed to read anything with my name in front of it. Just the lines, not the blocking. You're ruining my big debut! I do not think we are meshing artistically. I think you should talk to my agent. This is stupid. I quit. You can't quit. End scene! This has been a Franklin Donut joint. Listen, son. You and your buddy Church set off a bomb, which when combined with the weather machinery in Lopez, made an explosion so large it destroyed the present. Destroyed the present? Then where are we? We're in the future, numbnuts. Aren't we in the present right now? Aren't we always in the present? Unbelievable. He can't cope with the loss. He's in denial. 
That is so sad. Son, you're just not listening. The present has been destroyed. It no longer exists. We are in the future. Oh, that makes no sense. I'm currently working on a short film to explain it. Tom Cruise has a script, and I hear he's very interested. You're telling me a bomb sent us into the future? Yeah, you see, luckily Church was facing forward when the bomb went off, and we were standing in front of him, so that sent us forward into the future. Of course he was facing forward. What other way can people face? You see? That's what I meant by luckily. What happened to Church? Hmm. Never really thought about him. Yeah, weird. I, I guess he's dead. Sounds good to me. Let's go with that. He could be hurt and trapped in the present. That's impossible, son. The present doesn't exist anymore. What you're proposing just isn't very good science. Don't you see? If Church was facing forward during the explosion, and that blew us into the future, that could mean that he was blown backward into the... Oh, no. Backwards into what? The wall? A broom closet? A big rock? Another big rock. No. Into the past. What the hell? Where the hell am I? They destroyed it all, Simmons. Those damn stupid bastards. They blew it all up! Damn them! Damn them to hell! Those damn dirty apes! Calm down, Griff. We don't know that the whole world is like this. Yes, it is. They destroyed it all. I guess a society of men just wasn't meant to survive. Hey, how about this? How about we explore more than two square miles before we jump to any conclusion? It was definitely nuclear weapons. That's what did it. And the explosions caused massive power outages which caused the failsafe to fail, which released a super bacteria from a secret lab. Oh, come on. That caused a huge plague, and as the victims died, they rose from the dead 12 hours later to roam the earth and feast on human flesh. What? A handful of gritty survivors from all walks of life were able to keep the legions of the infected radioactive undead at bay, using only their wits and an inexplicable comprehension of agricultural science and engineering. Everything was looking good. And that's when the meteor hit. I think you just quoted every crappy Hollywood apocalypse movie ever. Nah. Hollywood doesn't understand apocalypse. They think that just one thing from everyday life goes away and that changes everything. Like in Road Warrior it was gas, and in Waterworld it was land. What went away in the Matrix? Sunlight. I thought the missing element was plot. I'm talking about Matrix 1. Oh, right. Face it, Simmons. The age of man is done. If all that happened, then where are the zombies? Why aren't they still around? The meteor killed them. And what about the super bacteria? It was infected by alien bacteria brought by the meteor and was wiped out in a massive bacteria on bacteria plague. Very ironic. Okay, then why haven't we been infected by the new alien bacteria? It only infects other bacteria. Are you even listening to me? Do you guys ever get anything done? Or do you just stand around and talk all day? We don't get paid enough to do stuff. But what about church, idiots? How are we gonna get him from the past to the future? I guess he can just wait. That's how it usually works. But when he gets to the present, he'll just be destroyed like everything else. Well, he'll just have to fix it on his own then. And if he's successful, he'll get to live through the coolest apocalypse of all time. Simon, Scrap, get your keisters over here. Look what I found. I found it. Look at what I took credit for finding. Amazing that these two actually accomplished something. It looks like some kind of an alien transport mechanism that could be used to... Or... It's a jeep. You have no imagination. Hmm, let me see if I can get this thing working. How? There's no parts. And what are you going to use for fuel? Griff is right, Simmons. You don't have any imagination. Thank you, sir. Shut up, scumbag. We're not having a moment. Hey, we need to find Church. He's dead, son. Why haven't you given up hope yet and just moved on? It's only been a couple of hours. Well, this should make you feel better. When his body blasted into smithereens, at least he took all our enemies with him. Get me though. Error, error. Get me though. Error, error. No puedo tocar mi <laughs> Don't worry, my metallic friend. You'll be up and about in no time. <laughs>
don't think that getting new rims for the Jeep's a good idea. Oh, come on! If we all kick in, we can get some spinners, some kick-ass subs, hydraulics! I'm in. Why? Uh, for style? For chicks. What chicks? There's no one for miles. We don't even know if anyone's still alive. What, suddenly you're a pessimist? Yeah, but if we do find some women, we will literally be the last men on Earth for them. He's right. All my life I've had girls tell me, not if you were the last man on Earth. <laughs> well, that may be true, but let's see what happens when I'm the last man on Earth with a sweet-ass, pimped-out ride, bitch. If you ladies are through gossiping, I could use some help fixing our vehicle. Oh, yeah, right. Here, let me try. Wait! Yeah, ow! Donut, are you okay? I was just petting the bunny, and then it went into the soup can, and part of my hand went with it. Bunny and hand soup. Just like Mom used to make. Donut, I told you not to touch anything. You touched everything. That's the exact opposite of touching nothing. Hey, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm getting in the Jeep. What are we, on a date? Get in the back. Oh, you're so insecure. Will you two shut up? We need to get this thing fixed. I feel dizzy, Sarge. Oh, that's just blood loss. You'll make new blood. You just need some orange juice. What's the rush on getting this thing fixed, anyway? Listen, dirtbag. I know on Blue Team you like to lollygag a bit. There is no Blue Team. It's all a lie. Red and Blue are the same. Oh, uh, don't start that crap again. You sound like a conspiracy nut when you talk about that stuff. The government put a chip in my brain. The president can hear my thoughts. We never landed on the sun. <gasps> they put fluoride in my water. Actually, that one's true. It is? No wonder I listen to so much pop music. We're fixing the Jeep because we need to be prepared. Just as our enemies are no doubt preparing to attack us at this very moment. But you guys think I'm your enemy and I'm not preparing to do anything. Except get L-A-I-D. Laid. Yeah, we can spell. We just think that was fucking weak. <laughs> yes! This place will do nicely for an evil hour. It's diabolically designed! As a student of Feng Shui, I can tell you this house is 88% good luck. Also, very breezy. I like the floor plan. Why did you fool? No mas quiero un cuarto solo para mí. No me gusto compartir con el vacío. Hello? Is anyone home? Don't be alarmed. We're only here to kill you and take all your possessions. Excellent. No doubt our very presence has scared everyone away. <laughs> Why don't we just see if this place is listed by a licensed real estate agent? Oh, shut up! But we don't even know if it's been inspected recently. It could need foundation work. Podría tener molde. Both of you, shut up! We're moving in and that's final. It has machine gun turrets, two living quarters with ample closet space, and a short commute to my secret laboratory. It's perfect. Yeah, but what about the school district? No tenemos ningún niño. It's important to think about resale value, Lopez. Resale value? Our plan is to rule the world, not make prudent investments. Es importante tener un plan de retraso. Oh, shut up. We're moving in. That's final. Hey, look, a computer. Now I can finally update my blog. Then it's on web blog. Yeah, it's great. It's just like being a real journalist. But without all the hassles like liability and accuracy. No, I need that computer for compiling evil formulas and to rebuild the weather machine. Also to download music. <laughs> Can get a un postal de cumple invita. Oh, I do. Tengo 40 mil a dar. Es muy exclusivo. Where's the mouse on the stick? Yeah, that's one of those little red rubber dot thingies on the keyboard. That's way better than a mouse. I call it the nubbin. Who wants to touch my nubbin? Yes, this place is coming along nicely. Excellent work repairing the turrets, Lupin. Gracias. El trabajo manual me encanta. I still say a flower box would have been a bit more neighborly. Oh, shut up, you fool! Hey, we should start a neighborhood association. It's just like a government, but run by housewives and old people. So it's a lot more efficient at controlling your life. Get out of my head! Technically, it's my head. But I don't mind sharing. Don't you remember that talk we had about sharing? Shut up! At last! My pilgrimage is over! I have reached the promised land! Who is that? Who knew? Not this buffoon! How did he get here? El estaba cerca de la bomba cuando quemó. Hello! What do you want? The disembodied voice of God! I hear you, Holy One! I have made it to the temple and await your command! Up 
Yeah. Hello. Red four on. Eyes up. Chop, chop. Oh, greetings. Are you the gatekeeper of the temple? Us? No, we just moved in. Can you help us move a couch? And do you know any good restaurants nearby? Just a second. Listen, you fool. Let me handle this. I don't know. You haven't been the best choice when it comes to making friends. Maybe I should try. Nonsense. With the proper handling, this fellow will make an excellent stooge. And I'm the one here with the most experienced training stooges. Isn't that right, Lopez? Nyuck, nyuck. You see? Okay, you can handle this. But I get to hang my motivational posters in the living room. Hang in there, kitty! Fine, but I'm telling you, that cat will never make it to Friday. Yes, I'm the guardian of the temple. What do you want? I have traveled great distances in search of enlightenment. Really? That's perfect. We have tons of that in here. But listen, we just can't let anyone in who wants to get in, so goodbye. Wait! I will do anything. Just tell me what I need to do to gain entrance. Ask him what he knows about gardening. Maybe he knows how to use that computer we found. All right, then, come on in. We'll think of something. <laughs> Part was when Griff tried to change gears and he uh, accidentally. Please, 
let's not tell the story. Is there somewhere I can wash my hands? What'd you find, Tex? Well, O'Malley's holed up in this fortress. He's been fortifying his defenses for a few days now, and he's got some help. One of those religious nuts you guys picked up. Oh, I liked them. They were funny. Caboose, they tried to kill you because of a flag. I try not to remember the bad things about people. That's all they tried to do. There were no good things. That's okay. I have a really bad memory. Wow, look, a beach! Shut up, Caboose. What's your plan, Tex? Well, first we have to breach an outer wall. Oh, I love breaching. Then we have to get past another wall. Two walls? Some people are so materialistic. The second wall has a guard tower and an enormous razor-sharp spinning blade. What, that thing? It's spinning like two miles an hour. I didn't say it'd be hard to get past. After that, we have to pass the gun turrets and break into the building. And then we attack O'Malley. No, that's where we plant this. We're planting a volleyball. It's not a ball. It's a bomb. We're planting a volleyball? I scouted a location inside the base where we could set it off and take the whole place down. I marked the spot with a big X. You scouted it? Yeah. If you got past the two walls, the huge spinning blade, the gun turrets, and made it all the way into the fortress, why didn't you just plant the bomb then instead of putting an X on the floor? I can't carry it. What? What was that? It's too heavy, okay? You happy? Yeah, kind I need one of you idiots to carry it. I don't have the upper body strength to move it on my own. See? Girls act like they're so tough. But the first time they need someone to move a couch, who do they call? Please don't kill me. Ah, uh, go ahead and kill him. We can use his armor for spare parts. Here, this thing doesn't look so heavy. Let me try. Yo, that thing ain't moving. I can carry it. I guarantee you'll need two people. No, it's true. He's got crazy strength. Church and I think it's God's way of compensating. See? Great Paul's bunion, he's like an ox. But I have no horns. Or lumberjack friends. Come on, no way it can be that bad. Let me give it a... <sighs> okay, you can carry it. All right, then we'll storm in there, blow up O'Malley, leave Griff for dead, and maybe find some clues about what happened to Church and Lopez. You mean your robot? He's in there with him. Lopez is in the building. <laughs> Ese persona rojo está comenzado a confiar en mis nervos. He keeps asking me if I've accepted the flag as my savior. I'm just not comfortable talking about religion in the workplace. Oh no, here he comes. Master! Headmaster! I have finished the duties you assigned me! You bought us all the guns? Yes, <laughs> and the ammunition too! It was like cleaning the impurities from my very essence! What about the evil windmill? <laughs> I greased the engine and filled it with gas. It was like getting my own soul a tune-up! Yes, yes, all right, fine. Why didn't you see about patching up some of these holes in the wall? I think there's some sinister spackle in the tool shed. Excellent idea, sir. It will probably help keep out that crowd of people that's been gathering on the beach. Yes, of course. All the people on the beach. Blah, 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 blah. Wait. What did he say? Wait, let me get this straight. The biggest threat we know of is in that building. And you don't want me to blow it up? We can't. We need Lopez's head. It has valuable information stored in it. Sorry, I'm going with the bomb. But hey, here's an idea. Maybe you could find your buddy's head in the rubble when we're done. Come on. We can't lift a bomb, but we can dig through rubble. Sorry, but there is no way I'm letting O'Malley get away this time. Just hire her. What? Hire her to help you get Lopez back. She'll do anything for money. That's not true. It's not? I'll give you ten bucks to tear off Griff's arm. Which one's Griff? See? She's not even really on the blue team. She was just paid to come help us. He's Griff. How do we pay her? We don't even have any money. We don't even know what money is in the future. Yeah, they could have shells or laser beams for currency. Laser beams? Yeah, that would be the coolest wallet ever. Why don't you trade her a favor? Huh? Have her do this for you, and then you guys owe her a favor. That's how these freelancers get stuff done, right? That'll work. I'll help you, and then the two of you have to do something for me. Okay, we'll do it. Wait just a second. What would we have to do? It all depends. Depends on what? On what I need to do some future job. But it could be anything. That's right, anything. Like gay stuff? I have no idea. Well, can we rule out the gay stuff? Hey, how come I never get the help? No, no, what are you doing? Don't lift with your legs. Your back's the strongest muscle in your body. And look, man, your knees aren't even locked. How do you expect to stand up straight? Come on, put your groin into it. And stop exhaling on every lift. The goal is to hold your breath as long as possible. Under stress, the body produces all the oxygen it needs. Purr! Groin it out. Can't I just pick this up when we are ready to go? Yeah, I guess that makes sense.
assets. Ah. Okay, we're ready to go! Crap. Okay, listen up, dirtbags. If we're gonna invade this fortress, we need a good game plan. I've got two options we can use. Number one, we all run straight to the base in a single file line, screaming at the top of our lungs. The enemy will be so flabbergasted, by the time they have a chance to regroup, We'll already be inside. Oh, yeah, right. They're not going to get surprised. They're just going to start mowing us down. That's the inherent beauty of the single file line. They can only kill the person in front. So if we order from least important to most important, with Tucker being in the front and me being in the back, then we just might make it through. Don't you think Caboose should be in the back since he's the one carrying the bomb? Nope. Caboose is in front of me. We need someone in back who can objectively evaluate how the plan is working. How are you going to know if it's not working? If Caboose dies, I'll know we're in trouble. Immediately abort! I think that's a good plan. Sarge, well, that's the most retarded idea I've ever heard. I just wanted to thank you for not putting me in front of the line. Don't get misty, Francine. Well, I've already killed you and used your corpse to jam up the windmill. Blah. I think we can all agree, given our current situation, it's the perfect plan. Okay, well, let me tell you about my other plan. Using parts from the ward. I'm hoping you've got a better idea. The Griff Cannon. Oh, man. Utilizing the power of the Griff Cannon, we make a Griff-sized hole in the outer wall. Or we paint it a very disgusting color. <laughs> the fools, they don't stand a chance against us. <laughs> Do they, men? No. Los macho cameros. The flag is on our side. We will be victorious. Stupendous. To your battle stations. On to crushing victory. The fools don't stand a chance against our might. <laughs> what are you still doing there? I forget. Which battle station is mine? I'm still learning my way around the fortress. Necesito a egan miebo. No tengo ningún torso. Okay, is everyone ready? Donut Caboose and I will move the bomb down the staircase and along the left side of the base. Please, hurry. I don't know how much longer I can talk like this. Man, that does look heavy. You really should consider wearing some kind of supportive undergarment. Uh, no thanks. I can do it. Come on now. Don't be shy. You can borrow one of mine. I'm thinking something with lace. Lace is totally in right now. Ooh, sniper rifle. I got it. Fuck. Copy that, Sarge. Seven. You and the two bullet magnets move up the right side and try to cause some kind of distraction. Any suggestions? As long as it draws their fire away from us and towards you, I don't care. Try some dance moves. Oh, you could do a musical number. Get off the radio, Donut! All right, looks like we're on our own, guys. Tex, how does it look from up there? I don't see any movement, but the guns are definitely online. You know what? I miss the old days when we didn't risk our lives, and you guys were all just a bunch of nameless assholes I would yell at with church. It's okay. We hate you too, man. Okay, let's move out. <laughs> Here they come. Get ready. Prepare to be cleansed, infidels. No los dejaré cruzar la frontera. All right. So far, so good. Sarge, we are in position. Roger that. We are also in position. No sign of the enemy. Man, this is the easiest fortress invading mission of all time. Maybe for you. This thing is heavy for me. Careful with that thing, Caboose. Uh, Sarge? You can blow us all to smithereens. Sarge, I'm pretty sure that guy up there with the gun... Jesus. You want to blow people to smithereens, at least make sure Griff is nearby. Duck! What the? A duck? Where? I love ducks. Get down, idiot. We're under fire! Sarge, we're under fire! Good! Now jump up and draw them off. What'd he say? He was breaking up. I think he said something about staying here and not doing anything risky. Tex, see what you can do about that gun! You got it. Yeah! Headshot! Nice shooting, Tex. Tucker, you and Tex head up across that bridge. Try to take out that other turret. We'll head into the base and see if we can find O'Malley. Why do I have to go up against a machine gun and you guys get to go play hide and seek? The guy we're seeking has a rocket launcher. Oh, right. Oh, have fun doing that. Caboose, we'll hold him off from up here. You take the bomb and try to sneak in the front of the base. Okay. Wow, Sarge. You actually decided to sacrifice yourself for someone else. Quiet, Donut. I'm gonna need your help. The turrets have killed Caboose. I'm gonna need you to carry the bomb into the base. I can't see him from here. Let's move up. Okay, but just- Whoa! Ah! Tucker! 
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I dropped down into some kind of hole. Can you give me a hand? Oh, let me take out this turret. I'll be back for you later. What is that? <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, Griff, we just need to jump through here. Okay, go for it. Me? Why me first? Because I don't want to die. But this thing's moving super slow, see? Nice knowing you, Simmons. No! Shoot the girl at the bomb! You're ruining the plan! I'm pinned down! I need assistance! Hey, asshole! Question is, where is here? Hello. You are early. Me? You are not supposed to be here for another 1,856 years. What is this place? This is the housing facility for the Great Neptun. I am the keeper of the Great Neptun. You are the Great Destroyer. You will demolish this facility, kill me, steal the Great Neptun, and bring about the Great Doom for billions of people. Welcome. How may I be of assistance? What are you talking about? Your coming has been foretold by the Great Prophecy. Does your society have any other adjectives besides great? The Great Prophecy warns the Great Destroyer will be a blue being. And you think that's me? The blue being will be known as the stupidest life form in the universe. Wait a second. This Destroyer guy. He dresses like me, but he's dumber than anyone else in existence. Correct. Oh, crap. Mr. Sergeant! Mr. Sergeant! Come quick! You better have a damn good reason for interrupting our search. Can't he see this is an extremely organized and highly motivated operation? Yeah, I'm bored. I want to stop doing whatever it is I'm pretending to be doing. You're supposed to be helping me look for Lopez, meat sack. You said you saw him up here. We saw his head. Just the head? Yeah, it was operating the right turret. How's he pulling the triggers? He's very determined. You're sure it was Lopez? Well, I heard screaming in Spanish and bullets flying through the air, so either that was Lopez, or this is Mexican New Year. Well, where's his head now? Uh, I don't know. Tex shot it. Hey, Tex! What? When you shot Lopez's head, where did it go? How do I know? Are you sure you hit it? I mean, is it possible that you missed? I mean, just this one time. It doesn't say anything about your overall skill level. Yeah, she says she doesn't know. Wow, that's sweet. I like the glowing part. Ooh, does it make cool noises when you swing it? I don't think so. No, wait, is whoosh a noise? Because if it is, then yes, it goes whoosh, 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 Walking along, following Tex, not really paying attention, you know. I fell in some hole, and uh, Tex didn't help me out. She figured she was better off without me, and that's where I found this. You know, most people would tell that story in a way that makes them sound a little better. Yeah, but, you know, that's not really my style. Man, I've never found something that cool in a hole, and I've explored just about every hole you can think of. Hey, dude, do me a favor and don't talk like that when I'm playing with my thing. Bruce, what are you yammering about? Did you find Lopez? Someone meaner. O'Malley? Meaner. You found someone meaner than the guy trying to destroy the universe. Yes. Caboose, is that you? Can you hear me? See? It's Church. And he's meaner than ever. Caboose, is that you? Can you hear me? Church. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Caboose, is that you? Can you hear me? Church. I can hear you. How are you? Caboose, is that you? Can you hear me? I think it might be a recording. Quiet. I want to see how long this lasts. 
Church, I can hear you. Do you miss me? Move over, Brainiac. Let me see if I can get the rest of this thing to play. I carried the bomb and found Church. I am a very important person. Yes, we're very impressed. Hmm, I think I can reroute power from the main coupling to the memory storage compartment. Griff, we may have to use some of your circuitry from your armor's life support system. Or I could just hit the play button. Are you sure? I'm already down here. I'm sure. I already got the access panel off and everything. Pressing play. All right. Caboose, I know you're there. I'm leaving this message from 2,000 years in the past. Whatever you do, don't touch anything. Apparently you're this culture's version of the apocalypse. You're going to destroy this building and somehow bring about doom for their entire race. Mm, no. That doesn't sound like me. I like people. And buildings also. Caboose, what did you do with the bomb you were carrying? Oh, I put it on the X. Like I was supposed to. Uh-oh. I think we better get out of here. And whatever you do, don't touch the glowing weapon thing they have stored there. Uh-oh. And if you do, definitely don't bring it into the main building. What's up, dogs? Otherwise, the whole place is going to lock down and you're going to be trapped. Oh, I'm not going to Would you stop saying bad things to come true? Or say them ten seconds earlier. Dex, there's a Sarge. Do not detonate the bomb! I don't have a detonator. It's on a timer. A countdown timer? No, a count up timer. It goes from one to explode. Of course a countdown timer you can hit. I think we might be in trouble. Ah, fudge bumps. Just don't touch anything. Don't look at anything. Don't breathe on anything. Message recorded. Do you think it'll work? No. Like you said, man, that guy's dumb as a rock. But at least he has some slightly less stupid people around him that can kind of help him from time to time. There's three minutes left for the bomb! Ah! We're all gonna explode and die! Simmons, come over here. Help me chew on this wall. We can eat our way out! Yeah. On second thought, I better get back there and handle this personally. Now, if I can only get back to our old bases, maybe I can change some key events and keep them from getting there. Hey, do you have any way to teleport me to Blood Gulch? No, but working at full capacity, I could create a teleporter in approximately 1,000 years. A thousand years, huh? It's kind of a long wait. You know any jokes? Did you hear the one about the positronic brain? Oh yeah, it's the one with the active matrix and the... Yes, hmm. that's it. I just love that one. <sighs> yeah, it's funny. It's old, but... Yeah, it's funny. How about the one with the twisted chip of the Irish expansion slot? Hey, come on, dude. Let's try to keep it clean. Hey, pull my dongle. Come on, you big baby. Just one pull. It won't kill you. Dios mio, no! That looks like church. Come in, church. Is that you, church? <laughs> um, maybe somebody should say something. Okay, go ahead. Not me, jackass. I'm not going to eulogize myself. What? Why not? I eulogize myself all the time. Wait. I think I don't know what the word eulogize means. Wait, I know how to do this. Dearly beloved. Shut him up, seriously. We Shut him are up. gathered here today to witness the joining together of tax and church in the eternalness together. Uh, speak now or forever. Rest in peace. With liberty and justice for all. The end. Man, this funeral is lame. If you need me, I'll be over by my rock. Hey, Tucker. Can I have a piggyback ride back to base? No, 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 no. I fell for that shit last time. I'm not doing that. That metal suit is like 8,000 pounds. Come on. One little piggyback ride's not gonna kill ya. I'm in mourning here. I've been through so much. At least help me paint my body blue. Okay. I may not have been able to save myself or Tex, but I still have time to save everybody else if I can just keep the AI from getting into dock, prevent Lopez and Sheila from forming the robot army, and somehow figure out a way to stop the war between the Reds and the Blues altogether. Huh. What if I... Yeah, I'm gonna need some help on this one. Oh, hey! Found it? Nah, no, wait. 
All I found was the time and temperature function. It is currently 26 degrees, by the way. What? It's not 26 degrees out here, that's freezing. Celsius. Where the hell is that contact info for Blue Command? Man, we really need to standardize the way we handle our information. No, dude, it's more like a switch. Well, give it a flip. I don't want to flip it. Okay, here we go. Come in, Blue Command. Do you read me? Hello, hello, come in. Do you read me? I read you. Hello, can you read me? What's going on? Your channel here. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, uh, Flowers. This is Captain Butch Flowers. Hey, Captain Flowers, how are you doing, dude? Hey, I heard you died. Or you got promoted. Wait a minute, which one was it? Um, promoted? All right, great, dude. How's that working out for you? Good. Listen up, Vic. I'm actually, uh, what do you call it? Um, intelligence now. Military intelligence, yeah. And I, uh, I, I need help on a very top secret project, uh, that's very secret. And very top. I'm all yours, dude. Me, Vic, dude, as to Vic, dude. Me, 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 you know. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to contact the Red Army and have them send Medical Officer Dufresne as far away from here as possible. Red Army? No, no, dude. Last transmission I received, that medic was at Blue Base. Got it right here in my log. No pun intended. Not sure what that means. Look, it doesn't matter where he is, I just need him out of here. They're both the same to me. Hello, dude. You're telling me that red and blue are the same now in Blood Gulch. Right, exactly. The sides don't matter. Huh? So red and blue are the same. Okay, dude. Well, this changes everything. What? Well, I mean, for starters, we're gonna have to figure out how to divide up the money from the office pool. Okay, okay, yeah, whatever. Just remember, this is top secret, so you can't let anybody know that I gave you these instructions, okay? Or that we even spoke. Don't even tell them that we talked together. You got it? I will proceed accordingly, dude. Mum is the word. Actually, bird is the word, but the bird says mum. So we're gonna go with that. Over and out, dude. Well, that should take care of at least one problem. So, red and blue are the same. Well, I gotta make some phone calls. The hell are you guys doing? Oh, crap. The reds are here. What? Caboose, why didn't you say anything? Oh, what the hell? They just had him bring Doc back over here? That guy's a freaking moron. Now I'm back to square one. Guys, I keep telling you, if we have Lopez remove any of Sheila's pedals, she's not going to function properly. Maybe we could just get Lopez to give Caboose more feet. Oh, I like that idea. I have always wanted to be taller. Hey there, Lopez. Sheila, you're both looking uh, very shiny today. Uh, rust free. And anyway, um, the reason I'm up here to talk to you guys is... I know we've had our differences in the past, you know, with uh, the nut turning and the um, possessing and stuff like that. I, but I'm hoping we can put that behind us, because I want to talk to you about maybe some crazy ideas you might be having up here. Like, I don't know, say, uh, starting your own robot army. And, you know, it's it's something you should think about pretty seriously if you're thinking about doing it. Um, because it's hard to run an army, and you might not be aware of that. It's, uh, it's a lot of logistics, uh, a lot of rhetoric. Um, you know, it's uh, you got to have chain of command. And it's tough, you know. It, it's uh, when you have ranks, it's, it puts friends against each other. That's not always a good thing, because it might might seem like it's easy with only three people, even when those people are just robots. I don't mean I don't mean just robots. I mean three. You have you you have three you have three people that are mechanized people, mechanized Americans. Um, and then you know, it's a uh, it's a uh, anyway. You shouldn't do it. Bye. No confío en ese mamón. Se parece muy sospechoso. Me neither. But I have to admit, I liked his robot army idea. Yo también. Debemos hacer eso. Podría construir una máquina que vuela para un hombre con los lanzadores del cohete de las piezas adicionales. Great idea. Let's hide it in the cave so they won't find it. Simón. Well, that felt good. I think we're really connected. Now, what am I going to do about those teleporters? It's because that's the day I wash my underwear. And since I don't like to let my armor touch my bare skin, on the account of I chafe really easily, I remember thinking, where can I hang out with no pants on? Oh, God. Jesus, what's that guy babbling about down there? I thought Tucker was annoying. Okay. Concentrate. Just one more adjustment to make on this teleporter, and then we're done. Oh, hey, look. Let's give Sheila Lopez. Look at Sure are coming fast. Hey, they don't even seem to be stopping. Uh-oh. Curses! 
I'm just a different version of you. Yeah, see, I keep trying to fix the bomb, just like you're doing, except I don't do it right and I get blasted back in time. Then I come back and try to fix everything all over again. I just want to let you know, when you get back, meet us at the top of the ramp. Us? Who's us? Back from where? What's going on? Man, this blows. You guys suck. What the hell? Sorry, Private Tucker, but I always get my mind. Say goodbye, mate. Uh, guys, I hate to interrupt, but zero seconds. Uh-oh. What? Oh, son of a... See you in a few hundred years. Computer, you gotta send me back. To Blood Gulch. You just left. No, 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 not the Blood Gulch, the Sidewinder. Man, I totally screwed everything up. Hello? Well, I didn't keep the bomb from going off, so I just got blasted back here. Yeah, me too. What the? Let me just put it this way, pal. Your next plan goes about as well as the first one does. Uh oh. Yeah, you ever want to get right? No, 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 how did all you guys screw up? Well, when Tucker points the rocket launcher at us, I tried to explain the situation to everybody. And oddly, Caboose is really the only person that understood it right away. Anyway, by the time I finished answering questions, the bomb went off and I got sent back in time. Right, then I teleported back to Sidewinder and thought if I can shoot Wyoming before he shoots Tucker, then I can fix everything. But I shot Wyoming, then Tucker shot me with the rocket launcher, the bomb went off anyway, and I got sent back in time. And then I teleported back and just decided to kill everybody that I could see. Why did you do that? I don't know. It seemed like fun. I think I went a little nuts there for a while. Well, what did you do? Dude, don't ask. Trust me. It... it didn't work. So now we all come back here beforehand to discuss what we did and see if we can collectively figure out a better plan beforehand. You said beforehand twice. Oh. Well, in that case, what I was thinking about doing... No, that won't work. work. Hey, I got it. Who's the last church? Huh? Which one of you is the latest version of me? Um, I guess that would be me. Uh, I've already tried all the stuff that all these other guys have done. Even him. So, I guess that makes me the latest version. Well, that must mean you're the one that gets it right, then. What do you mean? Well, if you're the last church, you must be the one that fixes everything. Otherwise, there'd be a thousand other churches here still trying to get it right. I see. Wait, why am I explaining this to you? If you're the latest church, then you've been me explaining this to you already. Uh, yeah, I know. I just didn't want to steal my own thunder. I thought it was a pretty good idea. Thanks! Thanks! Thanks. Okay, well I'm gonna go do whatever it is that fixes all this. Wish me luck, guys. What are you gonna do? You know what? I'm just gonna go free Tex and wing it. Cause every time I've made a plan, it's fallen apart. I figure, why not just improvise? So what did you do? Oh man, it seemed like such a good idea at the time. Church! O'Malley and Wyoming tied me up. Get me out of here! You got it. Wait a second. Would this be a good thing or a bad thing? How is setting me free a bad thing? I'm not sure. If I set you free, will you promise not to get close to me? I'm already close to you. No, no, not me, me. The other me, me. The one with the bomb. What? Oh, right. I forgot. I already set Tex free one of the other times. Oh, sweet. Then that means I'm the guy that interrupts me and then confuses Tex. I'm totally confused. Oh, don't worry, Tex. I'm just supposed to tell him that it's okay to set Tex free. It is? Well, that's what I said to me when I was you. And it seemed to work out okay. Seriously? This is really confusing. Okay, you're free, Tex. Now to execute the second part of my plan. I'm gonna possess Lopez, and then use his lightning machine to defuse the bomb. See ya! Good luck! Yeah, that's totally not gonna work. Tex, I recommend you get down there and try to defuse the bomb that's in Church's stomach. I think you're about the only one here that can do it. And Tex? The one thing I didn't realize before was this. Maybe I'm the last church, not because I fixed everything, but because I died and there's no way I can come back. And if that happens, I just want to let you know that I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in all this stupid stuff. I'm sorry I wasn't a better guy than I should have been. I'm sorry for... for well, for a lot of stuff. But if we do survive this, 
then it's totally because of me, and you should build a fucking statue in my honor. I'm serious! Something cool! Like me on a horse! No, 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 wait! A motorcycle! What the hell? Sorry, Private Tucker, but I always get my man. Say goodbye, mate. Uh, guys, I hate to interrupt, but... Zero seconds. Uh-oh. Church! Oh, what can I tell you, know. dipshit? For better or for worse, I'm back. The computer can talk? The computer's name is Gary? How have you been, Search? Good, thanks for asking. Listen, would you do me a favor? Could you shut off the bomb, please? No problem. Gary, you mean to tell me you could have turned off the bomb this whole time, and you didn't say so? And don't say I didn't... You didn't trust. Fucking dirtlers! Man, it is really great to see you guys. You seem like you're in a good mood. I learned a very valuable lesson in my travels, Tucker. No matter how bad things might seem, they could be worse. Nope. No matter how bad they seem, they can't be any better, they can't be any worse. Because that's the way things fucking are, and you better get used to it, Nancy. Quit your bitching. Where have you been? You want the long version or the short version? I will take the easy version, please. Oh, I want to hear the long version. But can you tell me in three parts? You got this thing where? Right up there. So, you went back in time and didn't change anything. Uh, yeah. I was just like a passive observer. I would have tried to save your life. From me! Yeah, I didn't think of that. Hey, Tucker, I don't think it's a good idea that you're keeping that thing. You're just pissed because you don't have one. No, you must have me confused with Tex. She's been staring at you nonstop since you found that thing. That's not true. You haven't taken your eyes off it. Yes, I have. Then why haven't you looked at me the entire time I've been talking? I'm looking at you right now. No, you're not! I've already seen you. Not too impressed. I would have tried to save Tex, too. Well, I didn't, Caboose. I didn't try to save me. I didn't try to save Tex. And I sure as hell didn't make millions of copies of myself trying to keep the bomb from going off. Oh. Because that was my next suggestion. Leave me alone, Caboose. I didn't want to mess with the timeline. Time... line? <sighs> Time isn't made out of lines. It is made out of circles. That is why clocks are round. Man, that thing is really shiny. Yep. Tucker, man, I still think... The computer told me that thing is a very important relic for some ancient culture. I wouldn't go swinging it around like that. Yeah? Well, I think it's just a kick-ass piece of bling. And who are you gonna believe? Me? Or some super smart, stupid talking computer? Ben, thanks for meeting on short notice. So covertly. No problem. I had to move my lunch with the Pope, but uh, he was cool with it. He owes me. I helped him pick the hat. Shut up. I don't want the Blues finding out about this meeting. So I want us all to agree here and now we're gonna keep this between ourselves. Sir, I don't know if you've noticed, but we're not exactly buddy-buddy with those guys anyway. Eh, I'm not really in the market for new friends. I'm not sure that I'm happy with the current crop. No offense, Sarge. Griff, tell us what you discovered on the radio. Me? Um, actually, I'm the one who heard the distress signal. Uh-huh. Well, see, I thought... Yeah, I can't use the radio. Yeah, I discovered the distress signal. That was me. I don't know how I got that mixed up. It's okay, sir. As long as everyone's clear, who heard it first? Sorry about that, Simmons. Why do you care? Oh, really, sir. It's no problem. I think it's important to get proper credit when some of us are working hard discovering distress signals on the Warthog's radio, while others are hanging out in the back seat, monkeying about. Okay, first off, monkeying about? And secondly, I don't think listening to the radio classifies as working. And thirdly, monkeying about? Come on, dude. It's a real phrase. Bullshit. That's what you said about horse doodling. People say it all the time. What people? Oh, lots of people, all the time. But nobody you would know. No need to get upset, fellas. I think we're all clear now. Simmons is the one who heard the distress signal, and Grip was the one monkeying around. About. 
Say who now? Monkeying about. Yeah, people say it all the time, sir. You'll want to get it right. Otherwise, you'll sound like a jackass. Can we please get back to the purpose of this meeting? Yeah, what is the purpose exactly? I wanted Simmons to tell us that he heard a distress signal on the radio. Okay, go ahead, Simmons. Um, I heard a distress signal while listening to the radio. I know. I was in the car with you when you heard it. In fact, why are we even having this meeting? Everyone here already knows you heard the distress signal on the radio. I just want to make sure everyone is on the same page. Same page? There's only one page. You know what the page says? Simmons heard a goddamn distress call on the radio. The end. Oh, look. Down there at the bottom, it also says, P.S. Griff was monkeying about. Well, I can see why we don't have lots of meetings. The only person who doesn't know is Donut, and he's not even here. That's because I asked Donut to distract the blues so we could have this secret meeting. And that's the story of how I saved Christmas. I did not even know the North Pole was in San Francisco. This changes everything. Yeah, and I don't think Santa's suit is a leather biker's outfit. Hey, wait a second. Why are we letting this pink guy distract us? I'm not distracting you. Yeah, you are. While we're sitting here jabbering, the Reds are over there monkeying about. Yes! See? They're down there, messing with the radio. Oh, so that's what they're doing. Yeah. They must be plotting something. Or maybe they're just listening to the radio. I know plotting when I see it. That's plotting. Maybe they're scheming. No, scheming looks different. That's definitely plotting. They're going to try something. Why? I already told them red and blue are the same. It's all a conspiracy. And I told you that's not true. Vic just made it up to confuse us. That just means he's part of the conspiracy. But he's the one that told you red and blue are the same. Exactly. Wait, are, are you talking about a conspiracy that red and blue are the same? Or a conspiracy that red and blue are different? Exactly. You just keep saying exactly. Do you have a theory or don't you? Look, I don't care about red or blue. All I know is that those guys are up to something down there. Maybe they're planning to use the radio to beam secret messages to the fillings in my teeth. Secret messages about what? Exactly. They are probably trying to tune into the distress signal they heard on the radio. What makes you say that? Oh, I know all the details. They were in their car, the boss hog, when Simmons heard a distress signal on the radio, and Gruff was in the back seat with a monkey. Hmm, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and assume that some of that is wrong. How do you know all this, Caboose? Andy told me. Andy? Who's Andy? Are you... are you Andy? I'm not Andy, I'm Tucker! No, I, I know. What's your first name? Lavernius. Lavernius? Well then, who's this Andy... Wait a second. Are you black? Me? Yeah. Does it matter? No. I'm just curious. Well, if it doesn't matter, then why are you curious? I don't know. I guess that's just something I should have picked up on after all this time. You know what else you should have picked up on? My fucking first name! Distress! Distress! Help! We don't have any more distress. Distress! Oh man, there's a lot of distress. That's all it says. It doesn't even say where or who. We know who it is. It's on the Red Army Open Channel. That means the Reds have survived into the future. Don't you see what this means? <sighs> that we have absolutely no hope of ever getting out of this army. No, it means we must have beaten the Blues. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any Reds left. Finally, victory is ours. Wait a minute, this means I missed the entire war. Oh, damn it. Yeah, everything must be great. That's why they sent out a distress signal. Maybe it's not a distress signal. Maybe it's a distress signal. Maybe it's an open invitation to some formal ball. Okay, let's go with Sarge's version. Simmons. Have you tracked the source? Well, sir, all I can tell is the direction. I have no idea how far it is. Why not? I thought you were our unofficial science officer. That just means I'm smart. If you want me to multiply two big numbers in my head, that I can do. But I can't measure radio signals with no equipment. What's 32 times 56? 31,452. Is that right? Yes. That's pretty impressive. Eh, you know, it's a gift. This is Andy. Andy, this is Tex A. Tucker. Uh, the black one is Tex. And the other black one is Tucker. Andy's the bomb? Uh, Andy prefers the term explosive American. Are you making fun of me? He told me all about what the Reds are up to. Didn't you, Andy? Yes. Uh, and then we talked about all our adventures. Did you know that he used to know Sheila? Isn't that right, Andy? Um... Caboose, are you hearing the bomb talk right now? Say something, Andy. You are embarrassing me in front of my friends. 
Caboose, I think you're losing it. Also, I wouldn't really call us friends. We're more like acquaintances, or people who work with other people they hate. Gary, I need you to tell me some more about the alien race that needs Tucker's sword. I do not know anything about them. You don't know anything about the aliens that programmed you? Correct. Instead, they filled all my memory banks with information about the Great Destroyer and his race. You mean humans? That is not what they call you, but correct. Why? What do they call us? Chisno. That's an insult, isn't it? Perhaps this can best be explained in the form of a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. <sighs> Who's there? You are. You are who? You are a dirty, dirty Chisno. Ha ha ha. Alright, what does it mean? What is the most foul-smelling animal on your planet? Um, a skunk. Wait, so Shizno means skunk? Not exactly. Does a skunk defecate? Yes. And does the skunk's defecation in turn produce its own excrement? Ew, no! Then there is no equivalent for Shizno in your language. Gross. Like you would not believe. Hey, does that bomb ever talk to you? The bomb? No. Never. Yeah, I didn't think so. Andy and I are not on speaking terms right now. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Andy? Correct. He is kind of a jerk. I'm not the jerk, you're the jerk. Jerk. That was very rude. Ah, shut up, you shizno. You're trying to tell us that this bomb can talk. I'm not telling you that. He's telling you that. Yeah, and I'm standing right here. You can talk to me. If you could talk this whole time, then why didn't you just... Wait, why am I talking to a bomb? I'm not doing this. What, am I not good enough to talk to? Who do you think you are? Some kind of too-good-to-talk-to-a-bomb type? Maybe it's a good idea not to piss off the explosive device. I agree. I wasn't talking about you, Tex. Hey, why didn't you suck my- Did Gary say anything about the bomb being able to talk? Uh, just that this whole place is going to be destroyed by us, and that Andy here is probably the thing that does it? Oh, that's not good. I don't think so. A bunch of shit knows if you ask me. And no one did ask me, which I find insulting. All right, all right, calm down, Andy, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, I am calm! Calm this thing down before it has a meltdown. Andy, everyone here is your friend. And no one wants to hurt you. Yeah, right. Come on, Andy. Think of a happy place. Now, what makes you happy? Being in the middle of a huge explosion. Less happy place, Caboose. Less happy place. Uh, think calming thoughts. Uh, let's count backwards from ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. No! Okay, I'm 95% certain that the distress signal is coming from that way. Excellent work, Simmons! Alright, men. And Griff, let's get ready to roll! Only 95% certain? Griff, if there's one thing that I've learned in working with you, is that there's always margin for error. Excellent comeback, Simmons! That's a burn! Thank you, sir. Har har, look who's so smart. It's pronounced margarine, dumbass. Seriously, if I ever meet the guy that assigned you to our squad, I'm gonna kill him. Well, if you're 95% certain it's that way, which way's the other 5%? What do you think? All the other directions. Then I think that's the way we should go. You might be the dumbest person I have ever met. And I think you're just covering your ass. Hey, Sarge! What? I'm not covering my ass. You're the one trying to cover yours. No way. Stop arguing, you two! Simmons isn't covering his ass, and Griff certainly isn't covering his. No one's ass is being covered. Got it? Donut, what do you want? Uh... Is that a trick question? Oh, good. Well, I was up on the windmill again, and I think I found a route we can take out of here. Great. Simmons, load up. Donut, you back up Simmons. Yes, sir. Okie dokie. Griff, you get in the base and distract the blues while we get ready to leave. You're sending Griff? Okay. Be right back. Griff? Don't you remember the last time you sent him to distract command during our surprise inspection? He told him we were all in the base doing last minute cleaning because we all had cholera, and we were in quarantine for a month. My ass still hurts from all the shots we got. Yeah, you can say that again. Mine hurts too. You weren't even there, Donut. Oh, I thought we were just sharing stuff. Wait a second. You guys better not just be sending me so you can run off once I'm inside. Of course not, moron. Now hurry up. Okay, everybody in the Jeep. You are in a cool river where no one disturbs you or calls you names. Like Bobby. Or the exploding jerk. There are sheep nearby. They kind of don't blow up. You are happy. But not overly happy. Regular happy. Breathe in through your nose. And out through the mouth. 
again. In through the nose, and out through the mouth. Uh, maybe I get some candles. Would you like some candles or some incense? How about that? Hey, Andy. Knock, knock. Who's there? Inner peace and serenity. I already heard that one. And when we get there, we'll radio command and say we need a replacement, because we have absolutely no idea what happened to- Oh, Griff! What are you doing back so soon? That was the shortest distraction of all time. What's wrong? What were the Blues doing? You know, I can honestly say I have no idea what I just saw. Can I quit the army now? Seriously, I think I've seen everything I need to see at this point. If only I could make that happen, dirtbag. I mean it. Just tell me where to turn on my gun. I'm done. Venga mi ejército robotico. Ahora es la día de nuestra victoria glorioso. <laughs> Careful, you fools. I need a device intact. <laughs> now kill all those fools. And those fools over there. And those fools. Leave no fool left unkilled. This army has a no-fool discrimination clause. <laughs> I like that we have a no-fool discrimination clause. It makes us progressive. Shut up, you fool. Okay, so let me get this straight. They were talking to the bomb. Dude, I don't know. They mentioned something about candles in a bubble bath. And they were playing some kind of a New Age CD. It's like a Yanni fan club meeting. That makes no sense at all. Did you want to translate for us, Banky Pants? My guess is that they're trying to get the bomb to do something for them. And all that sweet talking candles will work on a bomb. It would work on me. Don't you see what they're trying to do? No. Isn't that the point of this conversation? Blues are obviously trying to coax the bomb into rearming. They're about to launch an attack on us. Why would they do that? Because they're blues. Somebody get this kid the manual. Oh, I hate the blues. That's the spirit, Simmons. <laughs> and now, the hour is at hand. It is time, my robot minion. He means robot minones. Where's your cultural sensitivity? Oh, shut up. At last, we will seize our destiny. Do we really have to seize destiny? Can't we just invite it to join our online circle of friends? Quiet, you fool. And quit sending me those invites. They're repulsive. Prepare for battle. We will break upon the fortress like an evil wind. Oh. Crushing our opponents with lightning speed. Finally calm down. Yes, we are all better now. We are not mad. And we are definitely not thinking about exploding at all anymore. Hey, are you talking about me? What? No, of course not. We just want to make sure that we're all happy and that we're not upset in any way whatsoever. Don't say we. You really mean me. I mean you, which in this case is me. No, no, no. Uh, we're, uh, we're talking about Tex. Excuse me? Hey, you want to die in an explosion? Play along. Yeah, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but she's, uh, she's kind of a bitch. Isn't that right, Tex? Church. I don't know. Come on, Tex. Yes, we're talking about me. Sounds like you're patronizing me. No, really. It's me. I'm a bitch. <laughs> Keep going. And I need to be calmed down all the time. Or what happens? Or else I get so mad, I kill people on my own team. I see your point. Tell them about the moodiness and the crankiness. Also mention that you like to punch people in the head while they sleep. That was you? I thought the tooth fairy was mad at me. Wow. She sounds like a real handful. All right, listen, you little noob firecracker. Whoa, 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 whoa. See what we mean, Andy? Volatile. I am so going to remember this, Church. You should sleep with your pillow on top of your head tonight. Yes, that's very funny. Make all the threats you want. As long as everyone is calm and peaceful and there's nothing else to make us excited, I don't care. <laughs> Attack my robot I can almost feel that coming right as I finish the sentence. What the hell was that? It sounded like a huge explosion! Shandilly lace! That means the blues have rearmed the bomb! Wait, they rearmed?
bombed it and it exploded. Isn't that good for us? Griff, don't interrupt me when I'm leading in a battle situation! We're in battle? Of course we are! Now get ready for your orders! Donut! Yes, sir! Scream like a woman! Can do! Ah! Griff! What? Prepare to sacrifice yourself to save a nearby superior officer! I don't think I've been trained on that. Simmons, kiss ass at will! You're both an excellent leader and a handsome man, sir! Excellent work, Simmons! Incoming! is at hand. So you have no good news for me today. Aren't you glad I didn't say the man up? Let's go, man! One of them's following us! We're going too slow! We have to leave someone behind! Not it! Not it! What? No way! You're leaving me behind? Sorry, Donut, but military law is very clear in regards to the not-it methodology for making decisions. Oh man! There's still so much about the army I don't understand! Here he comes! Donut, you hide here and wait for the guy tailing us. Then when he passes, shoot him square in the back and watch him die. Just like John Wayne would have done. Hurry up, guys! He's getting closer! No, wait. No, he... Yeah, he is getting closer. No. Yes! All this retreating and shooting people in the back doesn't sound very noble. We're not retreating! We're advancing! Towards future victory! How am I gonna find you guys? Just follow the distress signal to its source. You'll find us there. But I don't have a way to track it. Excellent point, Donut. Thank you, sir. Oh. Oh, God. Well, I've got some time. Attack. 
that Omar as it That was rather long to mean hurry up. Yes, una lingua muy poetica. Oh man, it's that creepy dude. I wonder why he's insulting himself. Que curioso. Oh, the motorcycle. Y mi cola es muy grande. Y me gusta frotar mi cola. Y quiero oler mi cola y también besar a mi cola. Are you sure cola means evil? Jefe, alguien está robando su vehículo. Drat! I only had two payments left. Tienes seguranza? Of course not. ¿Por qué? It's just a scam. Vivemos en un barrio muy mal. Of course we live in a bad neighborhood. We're evil doers. We're what makes the neighborhood bad. Whoa, Tucker, are you okay? Ugh. Mm. God damn. Okay, new rule. We start rotating knockouts. Next time, it's your turn. Hey, good idea. And next time Caboose decides he wants to go around team killing, you can take that one. Maybe we should all stick to what we know best. Hey, where's your weapon? You think she knocked me out for fun? This isn't Tuesday, dude. She took it. Man, this is not gonna be good. Attack. Una araña. What was that? Uh-oh. The Great Destroyer has arrived. The end is near. The Great Destroyer has arrived. The end is near. Lopez, do you see anything? No más robustezas muertas. Mi ejército hermosa destruido. I'm going to sneak around the side. Let me know if you see anything. Lopez. Lopez! Knock, knock. Who's there? 